Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a little unboxing and planning of bug biting plants. This was a little kit I got from Lowe's and it is a combo that has a uh, pitcher plant and a Venus flytrap. And as you guys can see, it came with some sphagnum, mo sphagnum moss, some I believe to be coconut fiber, and the smaller bag of coconut fibers where the roots or the um, actual Venus flytrap and the dormant pitcher plant is. And so yeah, these are dormant, but uh, as you guys will see, they actually have little sprouts already. And so I thought that was really cool. Uh, yeah, you can find these at Lowe's. I believe they're around $10, give or take. Uh, you probably find it somewhere else. It came with a little green pot too. And here I got a little plate just to keep, try to keep everything together and not make a big mess. And so uh, I got a cup of water and that's where it tells you to mix the sphagnum moss with. And I believe it's sphagnum moss. It could be peat moss, but uh, yeah. So you, I got a cup of water. I'll be mixing that in. You gotta, you, you gotta soak it, and that's gonna be your top cover once everything's done. Um, you guys will see that I messed up a little. Um, you'll need to put that in there, and then the coconut fiber will go in the little pot. And what I did wrong, and as you guys will see, uh, you guys need to open up the little bag containing the Venus flytrap and the pitcher plant because that coconut fiber uh, should be placed on top of the rest of the coconut fiber just because um, you don't want it to go to waste. And so here I finished, it's all soaked. Um, now I'm gonna start with the rest of the coconut fiber going into the actual pot. And yeah, uh, it'll fill up to about the line and then after that you guys will see me try to put the sphagnum moss on top and here's where I made the mistake uh, you guys will want to open the one with the actual roots of the plants and add the coconut fiber on top of that and then the sphagnum moss so here I just patted it down and poured the sphagnum moss over it Here you just want to pat it down, but remember don't do this until after you've poured the rest of the coconut fiber from the other packet where the roots are. And right around here is uh, when I re remembered that I should have done this in this first place. Okay, here I'm showing you guys the little packet. This one's the one that contains both pitcher and the Venus flytrap plants. As you guys can see, this should go on top. You shouldn't waste it. Um, and you guys can see the sprouts on that. The one with more than one. I believe you can see three right here. The, that's the actual Venus flytrap. And the one to the right, the smaller one, is the pitcher. And these are native to the Carolinas, I believe, North and South Carolina, I believe, something like that. And see, I'm putting the coconut fiber back into the pot. This is the one from the roots, just because they don't want it to go to waste. Here, I'm pretty much done. And again, you can put the roots in first, and then the sphagnum moss on top. I just decided to put it all together. Uh, coconut fiber and then the sphagnum moss and then I made two little holes that's the Venus flytrap right there that I'm placing down as you guys can see it has three little uh, shoots already one of them actually ended up melting away but two of them did survive and um, after this I put the pitcher plant in that corner and it had one little sprout or one little shoot and it did grow however you will ex uh, see like little leaf looking things uh, not pitchers and that's because it's trying to grow and get strong enough to where it can actually begin creating the little pitcher uh, looking leaf plant thing 
And here I'm just collecting the rest of the sphagnum and I ended up pouring the rest of the water in there. So you pretty much need about a cup. I think I added some additional water later on and left it on the plate just for it to uh, seep through it and collect. Now coming up, I have updated it. Uh, so you guys will be seeing some photos. Uh, you want to make sure you put this little pot inside the plastic container that it came with and that's just to create a little mini greenhouse and allow for the humidity to remain in there and here you can see the venus flytrap in front right there i'm pointing at it there's a few shoots and that little white one is the pitcher plant and again i'm just showing you guys how it, the final product basically looks and i end up placing it in the container right after this and I'll leave you guys with a few photos, updates. I purchased this plant mid-April, and here's the cover. Here's the plant after about a week. You guys can see the shoots and then the single shoot for the Venus flytrap. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. These are three weeks ago, I believe. And yeah, three weeks by four weeks, it has about seven shoots now. It's early July, so there's a lot of shoots now. There's about nine in total. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.